honey bee, thou ether birdling, fly a third time on thy journey, fly away to high Yumala. Fly thou to the seventh heaven, honey there thou'lt find abundant, balsam of the highest virtue, only used by the Creator, only made from the breath of Ukko. God anoints his faithful children with the honey of his wisdom. When they feel the pangs of sorrow, when they meet the powers of evil. Dip thy winglets in this honey, steep thy plumage in his sweetness. Hither bring the all-sufficient balsam of the great creator. This will still my hero's anguish. This will heal his wounded tissues. This restore his long-lost vision. Make the Northland hills re-echo with the magic of his singing, with his wonderful enchantment. Thus the honeybee made answer. I can never fly to heaven, to the seventh of the heavens, to the distant home of Ukko, with these wings of little virtue. Lemminkainen's mother answered, Thou canst surely fly to heaven, to the seventh of the heavens, o'er the moon, beneath the sunshine, through the dim and distant starlight. On the first day, flying upward, thou wert near the moon in heaven. Fan the brow of Kutamoinen, on the second thou canst rest thee on the shores of Ottava. On the third day, flying higher, rest upon the seventh starlets on the heads of Hetawane. Short the journey that has left thee, inconsiderable the distance to the home of mighty Ukko, to the dwellings of the blessed. Thereupon, the bee arising from the earth flies swiftly upward hastens on with graceful motion by his tiny wings borne heavenward in the paths of golden moonbeams, touches on the moon's bright borders, fans the brow of Kutamoinen, rests on Otava's shoulder, hastens to the seven starlets, to the heads of Hetawane, flies to the creator's castle, to the home of generous Ukko, finds the remedy of preparing finds the balm of life distilling in the silver-tinted cauldrons, in the purest golden kettles. On one side, heart-easing honey. On a second, balm of joyance. On the third, life-giving balsam. Here the magic bees selecting, culls the sweet life-giving balsam, gathers two heart-easing honey heavy laden, hastens homeward. Time had travelled little distance, ere the busy bee came humming to the anxious mother waiting, in his arms a hundred couplets and a thousand other vessels, filled with honey, filled with balsam, filled with the balm of the Creator. Lemminkainen's mother quickly takes them on her tongue and tests them finds a balsam or sufficient. Then the mother spack as follows. I have found the long-sought balsam, found the remedy of Ukko, wherewith God anoints his people, gives them life and faith and wisdom, heals their wounds and stills their anguish, makes them strong against temptation, guards them from the evil doers. Now the mother well anointing heals her son, the magic singer, eyes and ears and tongue and temples, breaks and cuts and seams anointing, touching well the lifeblood centers, speaks these words of magic import to the sleeping Lemminkainen. Wake, arise from out thy slumber, from the worst of low conditions, from thy state of dire misfortune. Slowly wakes the sun and hero, rises from the depths of slumber, speaks again in magic accents, 
these the first words of the singer. Long indeed have I been sleeping, long unconscious of existence, but my sleep was full of sweetness. Sweet the sleep and tuonella, knowing neither joy nor sorrow.